anybody who says this is for the health of children to protect them, you're out of your mind. You need to be checked. There's something wrong with your head. We'll get into it. We'll talk about what this school did to these kids in just a second. First, guys, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, consider making a generous donation to our ministry. You guys can help us out on PayPal or Patreon for as little as 5 bucks a month. Sign up there, get access to our bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos to get alerted every time new content arrives because YouTube's not always going to do that. You can also comment there censorship-free, send direct messages. Don't forget as well, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We already post there anyway, so go check it out. All those links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So we're talking about Virginia here. Wayne Wood Elementary School located in Fairfax County. Uh, this took place earlier on today. As a matter of fact, it was on January 11th. Photos and video captured of what took place here. And yes, I will put those links for you down below in the description. Let's talk though about the temperatures going on in Virginia today because it was scheduled to be in the mid 20s about all day. As a matter of fact, it was 24 degrees outside at the time that this teacher had these kids outside for the lesson. 24 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. This, of course, is not the first time that we have seen kids forced to go outside for class. This is the first time that I can remember being at this cold. I know the kids have been outside. I I reported on other schools like in Portland out west where, you know, it was like, you know, 45 degrees, but we're talking 24. In this, in the photos, in the video, you will see these kids. They are sitting on the sidewalk in the shade in between piles of snow because, yes, there was snow all over the place and they had to try to find room where there wasn't any snow for them to sit down on the wet pavement to listen to the teacher, who again had them in the shade, and then, you know, she was trying to get herself at least in a little bit more of the sun. Reading to the kids, as these elementary kids are out there, what is the justification for this? That's the question that I have. Is it that dangerous to be inside the classroom in the winter? Obviously, I mean, what do I know? I am some blind guy on YouTube. I am not a health expert. I mean, you can't say that this was done on purpose, can you? You can't say that they're trying to purposefully harm these kids, can you? Can you even suggest that? Is that even allowed? <laughs> it's exactly what this is. It is exactly what we are seeing so worried about the spread of Omicron, or whatever other virus name you want to give it, that yes, it is too dangerous to have these elementary kids in our classroom, so please put them outside in the cold. Put them outside in the snow. You'll see they're going to be all bundled up in, this, in the video and in the pictures, trying to keep warm and not get hypothermia. But... I guess that's safer than being inside where the potential of Omicron could spread around from child to child. <laughs> Thus far, no response from the school has been given after this video has made its way now online. And this was put up by a parents group, which is kind of nice to see because it's a group of parents that care about the kids there in Fairfax County. It, it's not partisan at all. They're, you know, getting together here for the benefit of the kids and they're putting politics aside, which is kind of nice to see. And they're all in agreement that how kids have been treated in these schools and everything with the virus protocols is a joke. I mean, we know that they're trying to just shut down the schools again anyway and go back to remote learning. Maybe this is their way of trying to let parents know, well, I mean, if you want your kids to be able to come to school, well, then you can expect more of this, more of us learning outside in the cold, snowy weather. Unless you want to go back to online remote learning again, right? That's the message for sending here. If you're asking yourself, when is it going to go away? Well, my answer for you will be never. Because it's not. They have gotten a hold of this and they are going to continue to use it for 
Honestly, until Jesus returns. Now, if you're fortunate enough to live in a state that doesn't put up with this nonsense, then good for you. And if you're not, then if you're able to, maybe you think about going to one of those states or homeschooling your kids if all possible. I always say that if you have the ability to homeschool, that's your best option. But I know not all parents have that ability to do that. Multiple parents work and they just they don't have you know the resources necessary to be able to teach their kids from home. So in a case like that, they have no choice but to put them into a good school. But in cases like this, you know, if you're in districts and you're in cities that are run by all these, you know, you know, blue dems and everything like this, you're gonna have a challenge on your hands here. And it's gonna hurt these kids, and I hate to even say that. It's already caused so much damage to them. Far more, by the way, than any Omicron could ever do. Way more. Uh, this is just sick. And let me tell you this. The verse in the Bible that talks about the millstone being tied around those individuals' necks and uh, you drowning into the sea, then uh, harming one of the Lord's little ones, that applies in this situation too. Okay, We're not just talking about, you know, situations where certain violations are made. No, 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 no. This harms them too. If you're causing harm to them in whatever way, that applies to you. And that goes for the school board here in Virginia and these teachers and anybody that has a hand in making decisions that would force these kids outside in these types of hazardous weather conditions. You'll get what's coming to you unless you repent. I and mean, that's what God wants from all of us, honestly. On top of that, he also wants you to be saved. He also wants you to accept Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior, which is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And if you have not yet made him your Lord and Savior, well, I want to encourage you to do that today. In fact, I would love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing you need to do right off the top is to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. As a matter of fact, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. Again, guys, I will have more on this for you down below. The pictures and the video of what took place here outside, you can check that out there. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.